Tesla is building a monster battery near Melbourne, Australia. Here is what you need to know. The Australian state of Victoria has announced that a massive 300 megawatt battery will be built in partnership with Tesla and French renewable energy company Neowin. The facility will help stabilize the local grid as use of renewable energy increases, the state's premier said in a press release. New Atlas reports the Victorian Big Battery will be built near Geelong, roughly 70 kilometers or 43 miles southwest of Melbourne. It is expected to provide surge capabilities up to 300 megawatts and 450 megawatt hours of energy storage. It would be triple the size of the original 100 megawatt Tesla facility built at Neowin's site in Hornsdale, South Australia, which was the largest in the world when it began operations in 2017 and has since been upsized to 150 megawatts. Geelong is ideally situated near a number of wind farms and solar installations, as well as transmission lines linking much of the state and the national power grid. Tesla's auto-bidder software will make real-time decisions on where to distribute electricity. This big battery will deal with load spikes, allowing for coal-fired power plants to be run at more reliable levels of output. The Victoria government says it will also help the state reach its renewable energy objective of 50% by 2030. The state says the battery will also help lower electricity prices by storing renewable energy, as wind farms and solar installations do not always produce energy exactly when it is needed. Unlike the first ginormous battery built by Elon Musk's company, the battery in Victoria will not be constructed within 100 days, but it is scheduled to go online at the end of 2021. The world's largest lithium-ion battery may have cost a pretty penny, but it's already exceeding expectations in just its first year of operation. The Hornsdale Power Reserve consists of a 100-megawatt lithium-ion battery built by Tesla and paired with the Hornsdale Wind Farm near Jamestown in South Australia. The battery is comprised of several hundred power pack towers, which store renewable energy generated by the wind turbines. It can power 30,000 homes during peak usage hours, as well as provide backup power if there is a shortfall. A recent evaluation of the reserve found that since its December 2017 launch, it has helped stabilize the grid, avoid outages, and reduce costs by almost $28.9 million. The battery is estimated to have cost about $65 million, but it might not be long before it pretty much pays for itself. Tesla has also been working to build a giant virtual power plant in South Australia, aiming to install rooftop solar panel systems and Powerwall 2 batteries in 50,000 homes over the next four years. The equipment will generate power and provide electricity for each home, while collectively forming a virtual power plant with a 250 megawatt capacity. Any excess energy feeds into the main power grid to be used to supply electricity to other homes or during an emergency. Looks like South Australians are in for some electrifying new developments. A massive renewable energy project is underway in Australia that would include the construction of the world's biggest solar farm and the world's largest battery to deliver electricity using the world's longest submarine power cable to Singapore, according to a report in Science Alert. The Australia Ageon PowerLink would include a 10 gigawatt array of photovoltaic panels spread across 15,000 hectares, an area equal to 20,000 soccer fields, in the remote Northern Territory town of Tennant Creek, roughly halfway between Darwin and Alice Springs. Sun Cable, the company that owns the project, says on its website that electricity generated by the solar plant would be stored during the Australian day at a gigantic 30 gigawatt battery in Darwin and transmitted in the evening to Singapore. The network would transport electricity from the solar farm at Tennant Creek, north to Darwin, and then on to Singapore via a 4,500-kilometer high-voltage direct transmission network. Some of the electricity would be used in Darwin and plug into the Northern Territory grid, but most would be exported via a 3,800-kilometer submarine cable running along the ocean floor. Sun Cable says it could provide 20% of Singapore's power needs, The Guardian reports, helping the city-state wean itself from its dependence on increasingly expensive gas-fired power. That is, if the project continues to move forward. The Washington Post reported in August that the Singapore government was non-committal about its interest. According to the current plan, construction would begin in 2023, energy production would start in 2026, and the exported electricity would start flowing in 2027. AFP reports that a novel processing method has been developed that allows for the production of solar panels at lower temperatures and reduced costs. In 2009, it was discovered that the perovskite class of minerals could be used to form photovoltaic solar cells, but the initial process was complicated and could only be done on materials like glass that could withstand the extreme heat required. 
Polish physicist Olga Malinkiewicz eventually found a way to coat flexible foil with perovskites and later developed an inkjet printing method that required no high heat. The perovskite coated solar panels are flexible and can be easily affixed to laptops, cars, drones, spacecrafts, and buildings to allow them to produce electricity even in the shade or indoors. According to current estimates, a standard 1.3 square meter panel can supply a day's worth of energy to an office workstation. The projected cost of the panel is $57. Malinkowicz claims the initial cost of the inkjet panels will be comparable to conventional ones. Her company, Sol Technologies, partnered with Swedish construction firm Skanska, which will incorporate the solar cell technology in its projects across the globe. Experts say perovskite technology could revolutionize access to solar power for all, as it has the potential to address the world energy poverty. Tesla may soon be collaborating with Greece to help modernize its power grids by using advanced energy storage technology. According to Electric, Tesla has presented Greek officials a proposal to reduce the country's fossil fuel dependency and aid the transition to renewable energy sources, also known as RES. The proposal suggests the creation of a microgrid composed of energy storage systems to power remote Greek islands that are not connected to the country's main power grid. Tesla's previous microgrid projects have been powered by power packs. Tesla power packs are rechargeable batteries that store energy from renewable sources. The power pack can store large amounts of energy off-grid and are made to function as large-scale supplemental power systems. Government authorities are reportedly considering conducting a pilot project on the island of Limnos in the Aegean Sea. A large array of solar panels will be installed in order to power energy storage facilities during the day. The energy stored would be used during the night. Tesla has already built successful energy storage projects in several countries, including Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and Samoa. In an interview with Capital.gr, the Greek Minister of Environment and Energy, Mr. George Stathakis, who met with Tesla, said the conversion of the islands to RES, apart from being environmentally useful, is now also economically viable. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.